run of the year. Triumph Tiger. Take me a run. Plan is today to travel A77 to Girvin, where I'm going to meet up with uh, a friend who's got a BMW GS and uh, I'm going to make some plans and we may go slightly across country. Uh, due to the weather and the temperature, we're not going to go uh, too far. So, west coast of Scotland, uh, south to Girvin uh, via Ayr, Maywall, and uh, other small villages. So, looking forward to it. Going to play with the traffic. And as I say, there are no age limits. Right, finally, good to go. All set. Engine's warmed up. Got a bit of fuel on route. Now you go down to Sainsbury's. Favourite petrol station. So, um, here we go. This is the... Uh, The first test of uh, the Drift Ghost S with um, with a microphone fitted into the helmet, so wish me luck. I think a uh, good choice of bike today, but it might be a good choice of bike for the rest of the year. Uh, the road conditions are um, pretty poor after some of the weather we've had. And I can imagine they're going to get worse. So, interesting to uh, hear the results of um, I can feel the cold air in my arms already. Oof. That's not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. Oh yes. Right. I'm about uh, two miles from my house and I have got to tell you it is cold. I am uh, I'm wearing a summit Engeric touring suit um, with the liners in. I've also got on a Gerving heated jacket which I've opted to turn on which is a bit early in the day for that carry on which means that I'm actually cold. I could be just sweat from getting ready at the house. Um, certainly a cold day. Um, Tiger doesn't exactly have any sort of major uh, fairing on it as such. The joints of my arms are uh, taking quite a bit of air. And uh, it seems to be the coldest part of my body. So I've got the jacket on, um, which will certainly uh, hopefully keep my arms up. I have got a, another jacket, the sorry jumper that I can put on, and then you start to get a bit um, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the word actually. Immobile. So, and I can certainly feel it in my hands as I say, you know, I haven't went 10 miles yet, so I think any idea that Callum's got of a a long run might be uh, sadly not going to happen. Anyway, we're on the, the A70, uh, A78, uh, I think I said the A77 earlier, A78 to air. Uh, my intention is uh, to pick up the uh, fuel at Asda in uh, air. 
and uh, oh yes that's the heat coming through from the jacket nicely so uh, it might be a day of the jacket you know so nice to be out on the bike uh, first time in a while but first time since last year um, I've owned this uh, bike since uh, 2014 which uh, unfortunately uh, a month after I got it I decided to take the left hand side off the bike uh, the bike had to be repaired it cost a £2,000 so uh, I think it's got just under £10,000 on it so for a 2012 model that's uh, pretty low uh, primarily because I share the mileage between this and uh, Pan-European which I'll, I'll do a review on uh, along with a full review on the Tiger uh, this being the Tiger 800XC uh, non-ABS and none of that fancy fly-by-wire stuff uh, which I'm sure would be fun it's a typical um, off-road bike uh, in that other than BMW and certain other models it's got tubed tyres tubed there's a story we'll cover later on right as you can see they um, for some reason as the um, had to decide to no fuel so luckily um, they've got uh, sufficient fuel to bash along and I'll, I'll catch some as we go further down the road and uh, I'll keep you updated we're now approaching um, Coilton or what I know is a Coilton roundabout uh, I'm sure there's another name for it but uh, the primary route sign will tell us shortly and uh, it's actually quite novel to drive this road um, on the bike Generally nobody annoys you. Holmston round about there we go. So obviously heading to Strandar, Girvan area, come on to the left and here is uh, to the right. Left uh, takes you to Dobie's Garden Centre. And uh, high quality place with all the prices to match. I don't know whether that was quite legal. <laughs> no, it was interesting to say the least. Too much hesitance, and I certainly didn't want stuck behind those wood lorries. That would really annoyed me. Uh, so here we are again. Settle back to realistic speeds. The A77, which we're on now, um, is a. Uh, governed by speed cameras and uh, average speed cameras that is um, I'm sure we'll see one shortly uh, thank you round about to soon wrap this um, I hasten to add is uh, A really really nice run uh, in the summer, uh, renowned for motorcyclists up and down the road and uh, so what have we got? 20 miles to Girvan so 20 miles travelled roughly so um, we'll catch fuel shortly uh, in one of the one of the villages up here I might even get it in Maybowl Right, we've landed in uh, Maybowl, where we're, we, me and the bike, are going to uh, collect some fuel. And uh, this, uh, one of the villages is quite a bottleneck, as you'll see. 
um, where that wee car is ahead, if you can see it. Uh, cars park there, there are no restrictions, and however, it then creates a this bottleneck here. There is an intention to uh, make a bypass, which unfortunately will have a detriment to the, uh, the town. As you can see, here we go, uh, proverbial bottleneck. Right, the fuel station. Not like they dropped the curb too much. Oof. Oh well, we're in. See if we can get somewhere. Thank you. Good. And uh, yeah, I'm really, uh, really enjoying the day out thus far. Uh, Right, what can I tell you? What can I tell you about the XC? It um, does exactly what it says in the tin, as in it's an off-road bike, it's uh, um, comfortable, uh, the suspension just soaks up most of the bumps. Um, certainly, whoa, stay where you are, stay where you are. Uh, um, the uh, bike is tall, and I've not got the longest legs in the world. I go as far as to say they're stand up to slightly shorter than that. Um, I'm five foot, nearly eleven, I would suggest. But the the legs are I think they're half the length of the height, uh, so it's. Uh, I must have quite a big tank. That's only half a tank. Ah, it's coming up because I put in a good 12 litres or something like that. Anyway, so just leaving me bolt, and this is actually quite a nice part of the road if you get no cars on it and lorries. But this is the main arterial route to Stranraer Ferry Terminal or ferry ports rather, for um, for Northern Ireland, uh, Stena Line and P&O at Cairn Rhine. As such, as you can see, as anticipated, we get the wagons. Um, I'm surmising the time is now 20 to 11, and the next boat goes out at half past, so I go as far as to say that big boy's missed the boat. There's no way he's going to get there, but he'll be aiming for the afternoon boat, I would suggest. Right. Let's see what we can do here. Without getting into all fankle of danger. Right, we'll just go for the overtake, I think. That's it. a nice Institute Advanced Motorist overtake I would suggest. Um, still holding just to the 60, 61, 62 in the speedo, which is inaccurate. Um, so, Alright, let's see if we can uh, Nice bit of road, cars ahead, but 60 limit, we're on the limit. Um, I, I'm i filming this, as I mentioned earlier, on a Drift Ghost S. I bought second hand from eBay. Absolutely stunning bit of kit. Hoping that the sound quality is as good as I'm anticipating. Uh, we'll find out soon. The uh, reason for the purchase was I wanted a camera dedicated to the motorbike and the drift uh, is the best one from a semi waterproof point of view. The, the wee doors in the back of it allow the mic plug to go in. Uh, there is possibility of water but uh, 
certainly nothing like the heroes and such like, or more point the GoPros. The uh, camera in the front is a Hero 2, an absolutely amazing camera. And if I look at that one, I think that's the second one I bought recently. And I got it for £65, including postage from eBay. It is absolutely mint. Uh, the gentleman that owned it apparently never used it, or never used it in anger. It came with a, a rear screen. It came with an extra housing, waterproof housing, that looks like a kind of, as it is. For, all, for water, for water sports, uh, came a standard battery, a memory card, bonus, and it was a micro sim, so I could transfer that into another camera, and I've got other spare SD uh, cards. It, uh, as I say, it came with a range of stuff, came with a couple of mounts, uh, but I haven't had Heroes or GoPros for a number of years. There's absolutely, uh, it was just a, it's an addition. Uh, I think I've got them stuck all over the place on all the bikes I've owned and the ones I've still got. <coughs> uh, the uh, Yeah, and I've, I've got another Hero that I bought second hand as well uh, last year, which I mount on the back of my uh, Pan-European and I do time lapse. Uh, and last year when I came back to Austria I had something like, I think it was uh, 1800 photographs on the back uh, camera. Uh, some of them I did use actually, but uh, it's always that one picture that can can bring back that memory. Here you go, Suter's in. Uh, recently, when I say recently, in the last two years, was had to be rebuilt because it went fire. A thatch roof was quite a nice thing to burn, I suggest. Um, so here we are. So when I get back from for life, and I can't remember what town that was, I will uh, put it on the screen. quite sure whether I started or stopped the video and I hope I have because uh, this is a nice bit of road no need to speed nice and steady just enjoy the road being mindful we've got lots of uh, road salt been put down um, it is uh, a lot of grit in the road a lot of grease but as I say the Tiger's doing its job nicely, just uh... Right. Just watching for any sort of build up of road salt or, or where it's been compacted. Right. Okay. Yeah. Here was a Craig. Bird Sanctuary. And uh I believe that's where they got all the uh, stone for curling stones. Uh, very scenic. Um, boat trips uh, can be had from uh, from Girvan. I'm sure there's other ports that will do them as well, but that's the one in particular that I know of. Uh, So as I mentioned earlier, controlled by um, average speed cameras. I really don't know how it works when you get through 40s and in and out and such like in 30s and even me has got a 20 limit. Uh, obviously to do with that uh, bottleneck but I'm not sure whether MD actually hears to um, certainly bring them down below 30 I would have thought. To the right, that junction there is for Turnbury, Turnbury Golf Course and a uh, Trump, Trump, I don't know what it's called, but Trump House is in there, as in present Trump House. Uh, in a clear day, it's a, it's a really, really beautiful view, uh, and the various things, the uh, Ilza Craig sometimes has his hat on, it's a cloud going on it, uh, it sits over the top of it. I'll be doing uh, further videos on the uh, roads around Scotland and uh, I'll maybe catch one one day uh, 
in this beautiful weather. Travel down to Port Patrick, which is uh, just south of Stranra. Uh, really uh, picturesque uh, port. A uh, harbour, uh, lifeboat, and uh, bars, hotels, bars. So, so this is us heading towards uh, Durban. Very short distance. And as you can see, the, the rolling hills of Scotland. Albeit, you get rolling hills everywhere in the UK. Uh, to some lesser extent. If you have get any questions about uh, the road or the bike, um, just uh, put comments below and I'll try and answer them. Uh, say that the uh, YouTube channel is you, so uh, in its infancy, and uh, we'll see how we go on. And uh, as I say, shoot, many people have done it, but. Uh, I'm going to do a review on the camera once I get the results back from this run and uh, I also purchased a Hero 5 uh, which I really find quite an intuitive camera and uh, if you check out my uh, YouTube channel you'll also see there's um, cycling uh, videos uh, I've got an e-bike and I've made various attempts to try and uh, do a review on it but uh, the moment I start cycling, the wind noise is too loud, and you don't get the you don't get the effect of the uh, the engine on the bike. So anyway, that that there will come as well. So lots going on. It's early in the year, and uh, just uh, like and subscribe. Jobs are good. Yeah, now into uh, Girvan. Uh, as you can see, all these towns are uh, of traditional buildings. Um, probably suffer a wee bit uh, from people changing their habits. They, yeah, you'll still get the fish and chips and the ice cream and uh, the takeaways, but people are tending to go to your escapes and your, what is it called, into now, and we're going skiing, and I mean the days of um, coming down and sitting on a wee electric boat and going round a pond, folk want this speedboat now, I should have called my YouTube channel Chasing Cars, because I always seem to be chasing them whether it's on the push bike or on the water bike. As I mentioned earlier, I was doing a, a review on my e-bike the other day there, and every time I went to speak, a car went by. It's just like, oh really? So, this is Gavin. The typical, uh, traditional Scottish town. Townlands and Woolworths and, uh, Similar shops all fighting for some business. Waiting in the summer. Let's find some tourists.